Hello and welcome back to Viral Style Academy. Again, I'm your host, Luke Stasi, walking you through the basics of how to sell t-shirts online through Viral Style. And we're gonna get right back into it here. We have been in the process of looking through Power Editor and Facebook advertising, and I left off in regards to placement. So what placement is here, this is showing where your ad is actually going to show up and who it's gonna show up in front of, okay? So what mobile newsfeed is, is this means that your ad is going to show up in front of people who are looking at Facebook on their phone. So this is vital because about 80 to 85% of Facebook users are using Facebook on their phone. So you want them to see your ad on their phone. So you always wanna make sure that that's checked here in just the basic directive, make sure that's on. Instagram means that this ad is actually going to show up on their Instagram feed. Now, Instagram is something that honestly is a little bit more of an advanced strategy that I would recommend you don't get into until you figure out how to sell on regular Facebook by itself. Uh, what this is doing is it's actually pulling people who have an Instagram account and also have a Facebook account, and it is pulling their targeting in regards to the targeting that Facebook has laid in here, up here as well. So it's the same targeting that you'd have but what Facebook is doing is because they own Instagram, they are pushing this ad in front of them on Instagram, a whole other app, another platform, so they would see your ad there as well. So this is part of a scaling strategy that as your campaign starts to do well, you'd want to begin to push it onto Instagram, but since that's more of an advanced strategy, we are not gonna talk about it here in the basic introductory videos. And then here in uh, the other two, one is desktop newsfeed. So this is saying that this ad is gonna show in front of people who are looking at Facebook on their desktop. So generally speaking, we're just gonna leave this one on as well because we want them to see that ad on their computer. Desktop right column, which this is, is these ads on Facebook. If you're logged in and you're looking at your homepage, it's these ads that show up in the right side column on your desktop computer. So they're kind of smaller ads that aren't in the middle on your newsfeed. They're off to the side here. And these are cheaper ads to run, but the reality is they don't get a whole lot of interaction. These right column ads are kind of a more advanced strategy that we're not gonna teach here in the very basics, so I would uncheck this as well. As you're looking at creating your very beginning ads as you're learning Facebook advertising, make sure these two boxes are checked, mobile newsfeed and desktop newsfeed, and uncheck the others because these are more advanced and we're just trying to get you going here before we try to baptize you into some sort of deeper strategy that you're not gonna quite understand or you might not be able to manage or have success with because it's beyond your skill level at the beginning stage. So down here you can choose Android or iOS only devices. This really only makes sense if you're promoting certain types of apps. For what we're doing here and selling t-shirts and other products, you just leave all mobile devices on. So now down here under optimization and pricing. Now, if you remember in the beginning, we chose the campaign level. We chose our optimization as page post engagement, okay? And that's what it's gonna get optimized for likes and comments and shares. Right here, it allows you to bid automatically or manually. So what the bid is, it's as it says right here, let Facebook set the bid that helps you get the most post engagements at the best price. Manual is your enter a bid based on what post engagements are worth to you. So I would tell you in the beginning stages again, particularly with post engagement, just run it automatic. I still on post engagement run automatic. I don't bother with manual bids. Other people may argue differently and say that manual bidding is the way to go, but for simplicity's sake, stick with automatic, don't worry about the rest. And just leave this to say you will get charged for the impressions, okay? But you can also change this to say charge for the post engagement, but for optimization purposes, charge for the impression is gonna be what you're looking for. This is how Facebook optimizes your ad and how you end up paying for it in the end is based on how many people you're putting in front of. Whereas post engagement is your, it's optimizing based on people that actually like and comment and share. But uh, we've tend to see that over time that the impression is what's working. So advanced delivery, this is not something that you need to really mess with. Standard is where you'd want to leave it. It's gonna be showing your ad all throughout the day. So what that means is uh, Facebook is gonna optimize so that people can see your ad, whether it's 10 a.m. or whether it's 10 p.m., they're still gonna be spending money so that Facebook is pushing that ad in front of people. So that's all the pieces of information here on the ad set level. 
So again, as I was telling you before, if we were to target into Detroit Lions fans, and then I would say, and this is in Detroit, Michigan, I would recommend it. Back up here at the ad set name, I'd say we come back to this. Name your ad set, whatever this targeting is. So they were saying this is Detroit Lions that live in Detroit. Okay, so you can create your own system for this. I've got something real specific that we've gone kind of shorthand in our company where we are specifically just have not having to type so much. But in the beginning, just write it all out. There's no harm in doing that so that you know what this targeting is. It's people who live in Detroit and that like Detroit Lions, simple as that. So you name it whatever you want, but naming it up here, who you're targeting is gonna make it easier to remember when you're looking back and trying to figure out what this particular ad is running to without actually having to open the ad itself and look at the targeting at a whole nother detailed level. So now, if we go here to the ad level, this is where we will actually create an ad that is the actual picture and ad copy and it's what is gonna be run through a fan page. So this is where you build the actual ad itself. So in this particular video, I am not going to get into this because there's a few other steps we need to do first. So we will loop back around with how to build out this ad itself. Again, this is giving you, we got the campaign level is the title and the objective. Ad set level is basically all of your targeting and then the ad level is the actual ad itself. You're building it out. So when you're moving back and forth and up and down through Power Editor, uh, these little sort parts are gonna come up here. You can also filter by active or inactive or another number of other things. But if you ever find that you're clicking back to the campaign level um, and only you're only seeing the one shirt or the one design or the one campaign that you were just working on, X out of these and that'll end up showing all the rest. I just, there's a little tip here I want to throw in as I'm looking at it because uh, otherwise it'll just filter the only one that you're looking at. That is the, the basic walkthrough here of Facebook advertising in Power Editor. And the reason why I recommend using Power Editor is because this information loads a lot faster in here versus using the Facebook front end. And you actually have a few more options in here that aren't made available to you on the Facebook front end. And then what is the best part about it is that after you get good at all this stuff and you start creating a lot of ads, Power Editor makes it a lot faster for you because you can duplicate ads quicker and you can edit ads quicker and make mass decisions and mass edits on ads at once. Um, that is just a lot easier than using the front end of Facebook. So uh, that with that, I'm gonna wrap up this initial segment when it comes to Facebook ads and Power Editor in the next one. Um, I look forward to showing you how to get this ad set up here and other steps we need to do in order to make that happen. So I will see you there.